Hey everybody, welcome back to the Temple 420 Bible Study and Torah Tour. I'm Charlie, I get to be your tour guide. We're going to put our soul on fire and we're going to light a fragrant incense and perfume. Yes, we're going to take fire and wood and create smoke, a pillar of it, and breathe it. You know, something that's really interesting that I noticed is that if you look at a bong, okay, it's got this long tube and this big bowl at the bottom, right? It's a golden bowl full of incense. Ironically, we have this big wind pipe, wind pipe, and a big bowl waiting for it. So we take the bong, God put us into a bong shape, and we are sort of in the figure of a tree at that point. Anyways, we're in Exodus 3. We're going through the burning bush. Moses is talking to a bush in his head, of course. There's no one else there. But you can have the conversation with the voice that reminds you where your keys are. If you can believe in the fact that you're not going insane. And that's where people stick, get cut, get caught. They're like, oh, I can't be having this conversation with myself. And I'm like, oh no, yes I can because I have no more diseases from the guy who sends them. So I totally believe in the burning bush. And listen to what God says. Um, actually, God says, I have seen my people. I'm going to come down and rescue them. Great. He's going to come down in his form. Moses doubts and God's reassurance is what we hear. Moses replied to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and I should take the children of Israel out of Egypt? Like, what a task. I'm sorry, you want me to do what? You want me to go back to the people that, remember, I just killed somebody. I've been away for 40 years. At that point, I'm 80 years old. And you want me to go back and rescue your people? You must be insane. And he said, for I shall be with you. And that's the hint of what his name is. I shall be. Not I am, not current, but the future. Don't worry about what you're going to say. He will speak through you, which is the voice that comes to the top. Because your first thoughts is, oh, let me just speak the word, not my own silly words that are human. Now here it is. For I shall be with you. And here, this is your sign that I have sent you. When you take the people out of Egypt, you will serve God on this mountain. When you, say, when you take the people out of Egypt, you will serve God on this mountain. Moses is told this. Jesus then tells us, hey, you're not going to worship God on this mountain or on this place, but you're going to worship him in the new temple, which is the body. So we can serve God. We can really worship him if we believe in the burning bush. So, and he said, for I shall be with you and this is your sign. Now, if you're playing baseball, what's the first thing you do before you get in the box? You look down at your coach and say, okay, what's the sign? And if you shake it off, you're an idiot because you just shook off the sign. Or you nod gracefully and go up and bunt if it's bases loaded and you're doing a squeeze play. Anything the coach says, which is now the book, he wrote the entire book. You don't have to go to practice in front of him. He wrote an entire book for us. And he's going to be with us. And when you take the people out of Egypt, you will serve God on this mountain. Moses said to God, Behold, when I come to the children of Israel and say to them, The God of your forefathers has sent me to you. And they say to me, what's his name? We're going to go through the I am and the I shall be. But here it is. He sent me to you because I have his scent. 